students in this video and uh, this is the video the first part of light chapter of class 10 in this chapter we will be discussing about two phenomenon one is the process of reflection another one is the phenomenon of refraction so we begin with reflection <clears throat> so you know that what is reflection you have got earlier also it is the process of bouncing back of light to the same medium after striking a reflecting surface when light will hit any reflecting medium then it will bounce back to the same medium so suppose there is a ray of light it is coming it hits this mirror and it bounces back so the incoming ray is called the incident ray the outgoing ray is called the reflected ray if you draw a normal normal means 90 degree to the mirror plane of the mirror then that is called the normal the angle between incident ray and normal is called the angle of incidence and the angle between normal and the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection and the point here it is called the point of incidence so based on this there are two laws of reflection first law of reflection it is that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection no matter what might be the kind of surface it may be a flat surface it may be a curved surface any kind of surface this law will hold good second law is that incident ray reflected ray and normal all lie on the same plane at the point of incidence so all lie on the same plane means here it is the plane of this copy it is not the plane of this mirror suppose they lie on three planes so suppose we have <coughs> three rays this way so all will lie on the same plane it's not that two rays will be like this and one will be above this if this is the case then we'll end up getting how many plane one plane two plane and three plane so if the angle of or the incident ray changes the reflected ray will also change so that we end up having one single plane so that is the plane they are talking about here so here it is the plane of the copy so in your chapter basically they have discussed about spherical mirror so when we will discuss about spherical mirror we need to understand certain basic concepts so spherical mirror suppose we consider a sphere so if you cut out a part from the sphere or from that uh, uh, spherical structure whatever you get that is a representative of the spherical mirror now if the polished side the silver polished side if it is outside and the reflecting side is inside it is caved inside it is called concave mirror and if the reflecting side is bulging outside it is called convex mirror now suppose we try to understand the different terms associated with spherical mirror suppose there is a concave mirror a concave mirror or any other mirror a mirror will be part of a sphere so every sphere will have a center so that center is called the center of curvature now if we consider a straight line joining the center of curvature with any point on the mirror that will be radius of the sphere so it is called the radius of curvature if you consider a mirror like this and you place the mirror on a flat surface this mirror will have a highest point so the highest point on the mirror is called the pole of the mirror it is called the pole of the mirror now if we consider a straight line joining center of curvature with the pole this is also radius of curvature but this radius of curvature has a special name it is called the principal axis next the midpoint on the principal axis that is called the principal focus now how principal focus is different from other focus i'll be discussing here next if you consider this line <coughs> a to b suppose there is a mirror so from suppose from a to b there is a circular structure so from point a to b that will be the diameter of the mirror so that is known as the aperture of the mirror the distance from principal focus to the pole it is called the focal length now what is the difference between principal focus and other focal points suppose there is the principal focus the midpoint if you consider a plane passing through this principal focus perpendicularly suppose 
this is the plane this is the plane and suppose this plane is passing perpendicularly through the suppose this point is the principal focus so it is passing perpendicularly through the principal focus that plane is called the focal plane and on this focal plane if you consider it will have infinite number of points so any point you take on the focal plane that is known as the focus and that particular focus which lies on the principal axis that is called the principal focus <laughs> next we'll try to understand why a concave mirror is called a converging mirror because you see suppose there is a concave mirror and suppose there is an incoming ray now this ray hits the mirror at this point now, at this point the mirror is curved so how do we draw the normal at this particular point any point on the mirror it is part of this spherical structure so if we consider a tangent what is a tangent you know suppose there is a curved surface this is the center of this curved surface so this line may is the radius from the center to any point on this curved surface now at this point if you draw a line which is 90 degree to the radius that line will touch this curved surface only at that point and this line is called a tangent so if you draw a tangent that tangent represents the plane of the mirror so if this is the tangent then this will be the normal 90 degree this will be the normal so if this is the normal so with the normal and this is the incident ray so there's the angle of incidence so which side will be the angle of reflection it will be this side so this will be the angle of reflection so the ray will come towards the principal axis similarly if we consider a ray coming from below for this point also this is the tangent so this will be the normal 90 degree so this is the angle of incidence so which side will be the angle of reflection on the upper side so this ray will go like this so what we find both the rays are coming towards the principal axis therefore concave mirror is a converging mirror next we come to convex mirror convex mirror is a diverging mirror same reason suppose there is the convex mirror suppose there is the ray which is coming in it hits the mirror at this point at this point if we draw a tangent this is the tangent so which will be the normal this dotted line will be the normal which is 90 degree to the tangent so this is the angle of incidence between the incident ray and the normal so which side will be the angle of reflection on the other side of the normal so this will be the angle of reflection so this will be the reflected ray same is the case below so what we find that the rays after hitting the mirror they move away from the principal axis therefore they are it is called the diverging mirror so here the definitions of the different terms are given i'm just focusing on the definition so you can pause the video and take down or write down the definition now here we have to discuss one point <clears throat> principal focus it is the midpoint on the principal axis okay there is however another definition what is the definition it can be also defined as the point on the principal axis where a parallel beam of light parallel to the principal axis look at this diagram there is a parallel beam of light which is parallel to the principal axis after reflection the rays where they will meet for such a beam that particular point is called the principal focus so it can i'm repeating again it can also be defined as the point on the principal axis where a parallel beam of light parallel to the principal axis meet after reflection in case of concave mirror and what in case of convex mirror appears to arise from because you see this is the parallel beam of light it is a diverging mirror so the rays will diverge out so the diverging rays will never meet so in order to make them meet what we do we produce them backward and they come and appear to meet here so all the rays they are appearing to arise from this point and that particular point is the principal focus so these are the definitions you take down necessary notes by pausing the video in the next video i will be discussing how to draw ray diagrams using spherical mirror